going on guys hope you're all doing well in the video today we're gonna be putting on our mad scientist lab coats one more time and tackling the chaos effect ultimasaurus now a couple of years ago i did a custom ultimasaurus video here on the channel and i built it out of a bunch of different random dinosaur parts now the difference between this one is the challenge was to build it all out of Mattel dinosaur parts and that is what I did. So uh, we're going to go over that here real quick. Uh, the base figure that I used was the Albertosaurus. I then cut off the feet of the uh, Albertosaurus, removed the arms, and I chopped off the top portion of the snout. For the raptor feet, I used the feet from the grab and growl endoraptor because they are perfectly in scale with the albertosaurus i used the arms from the basic 12 inch velociraptor i used the head from aurorvor triceratops and i used the spikes and the tail club from the ankylosaurus and of course i filled in the gaps and uh, sculpted the rest of the details using an entire container of milliput epoxy putty and after hours and hours and hours of cutting and gluing and sculpting and pulling my hair out this thing is finally assembled and ready for paint i showed it to zach he loves it i love it we're both ready to get some paint on this thing so let's go ahead and get started i grabbed a couple of reference photos here that we're going to uh, use as inspiration for this paint job uh, zach personally likes the light blue color ultimasaurus so uh, that's what we're going to do for him on this particular paint job and for that we're going to start off with the model completely primed in tamiya gray primer and we're going to be laying down some thin coats of this fluorescent blue And with all the blue base applied, we're going to go in with this Createx Red, and we're going to block in all of the red sections on the Ultimasaurus. That's the feet, the arms, and the head. Now with all the red parts done and out of the way, it's time to move on and paint everything black. And this figure has a lot of black parts to it. Uh, for that, I'm just uh, turning to a little black matte acrylic paint, thinned down with a little bit of water to help with flow. Now with the black paint all dried, I'm going in and we're just going to be picking out some little finer details. We've got a black wash all over the red parts. I'm going in with the black paint and I'm actually just picking out a few of the scales. I'm going to paint the inside of the mouth with a nice glossy flesh tone to give it that genuine wet look. Paint all the teeth off white, you know, the standard stuff. Finish it off here by painting the eyeballs just a basic gloss yellow to give it that super menacing look and then seal it off with a couple of coats of matte varnish. Once it's done and dried and cured, I'm gonna package it up and ship it to its new home with Zach. But before I send it off to him, you know I had to have a little fun with it and take some really cool end of the video pictures. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found the information provided useful and it has inspired you to get out there and make some custom hybrid dinosaurs for yourself. Remember, for more Jurassic Park related content, you guys know where to find me. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.